Welcome to another video for Global Scholarship for International Students and today we'll be beginning a new university and we'll be looking at National University of Singapore and we'll be specifically be looking at scholarships for incoming freshmen. Um, why did you National University of Singapore? Um, it is one of the top 30 universities in the world currently and it consistently ranks in the top 30 universities in the world year after year. Um, NUS is located in the Republic of Singapore and it is known for its diverse student body from students all over the world and it also offers great scholarship for Asian students and I'm um, sorry to say but um, this video is exclusive to Asian students and because Asian being an Asian citizen is one of the eligibility requirements of the scholarship offered by NUS. That is the reason why um, I have um, limited the group to just Asian students. Um, I know if you're not Asian, um, don't be sad um, because there will be uh, more videos to come that are for all international students. So let's keep on going. The NUS scholarship offers scholarship to students who are Asian citizens. Um, there are two types of scholarships for freshmen. Um, the first one um, and the second one covers full tuition and living costs, but the second one covers the airfare and more additional benefits, which we'll cover that in the later part of the video. Um, as we go throughout the, app, the um, scholarship, NUS scholarship, be aware of application deadlines and requirements for the scholarship that you want to apply for. And let's go straight into the search. In order to save my time and yours, um, I'm not just, I'm not going to go through the search process, but I'm just gonna include the link at the top um, down in the video description down below. So make sure you click on that if you wanna follow the process through with me. So we're, we're at the official homepage, um, NUS National University of Singapore Office of Missions. And if you scroll down, there are scholarship refreshments, which is for international students. Um, if you click on the first one, which is scholarship administers, administered by NUS, uh, we can see that the first one is a CN undergraduate scholarship. And this is for um, just members of ASEAN countries. Um, the eligibility requirement, we're just going to cover, cover it quickly on the eligibility criteria be citizen of a ASEAN member country, excluding Singapore, and ASEAN member countries include the following countries down below. So um, the scholarship benefits for, make sure you read through the eligibility criteria. The scholarship benefits of the ASEAN scholarship, um, it covers tuition fees, full tuition fees, after MOE tuition grant subsidy, which the MOE tuition grant subsidy will, will, we will cover right after. Um, and it, after tuition fees, it covers your annual living allowance. So what is MOE tuition grant subsidy? Um, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna read the second terms and conditions. While there is no bond attached to a C and undergraduate scholarship, students are required to take up the MOE tuition grant to receive the scholarship. Singapore permanent residents and international students who take up the MOE tuition grant will be bonded under the terms of the tuition grant to work for a Singapore registered company for three years immediately upon graduation. Scholars admitted to dentistry and medicine will be required to undertake a service bond with the Singapore Ministry of Health for five and six years respectively. So MOE tuition grant requires you um, to work for a certain period of time if you receive the following scholarship. But um, you might say, oh, I don't want to apply for this scholarship because um, uh, it requires me to work, but um, the second scholarship is the same thing. So if we look at the second scholarship um, offered by NUS, uh, we can click on that, uh, which is Science and Technology Undergraduate Scholarship. Um, and the Science and Technology Undergraduate Scholarship is a freshman scholarship offered to support outstanding students from Asian countries. So if you're an Asian citizen, you can apply for this scholarship. So eligibility criteria, be citizen of an Asian country. Um, and the additional one is be applying for a full admission 
to a full-time undergraduate degree program in computing engineering or science at NUS. Uh, make sure you apply um, for this following major if you want to get this um, scholarship. And the scholarship benefits um, includes tuition fees and it includes MOE tuition grant subsidy, it includes living allowance, a set one-time settling in allowance, um, annual annual accommodation allowance and an airfare from your home country to Singapore and from Singapore to your home country at the end of the school year. And you might say, oh, I don't have to work. But if you scroll down, if you look at terms and conditions um, for the third one, um, we can read that recipients of the scholarship are required to serve a six year bond with a Singapore registered company immediately upon graduation so you need to serve um you need to work um, after you receive after you graduate from nus um you might say oh it's a bad deal but i think it's a very good deal because you get to study in one of the top universities in singapore and you also get um, a work experience in addition so if you want to apply for a real job you get a resume um, that you that includes your work experience. In addition to that, you graduate from NUS. Um, you will make a very good um, resume, and you're you're gonna be very likely to get hired because NUS is a very famous university that is known among Asian countries. So, um, in addition to scholarship administered by NUS, there are scholarship offered by external organizations, and also there is a scholarship calendar, which includes the application deadline. Um, the application deadline um, for this scholarship um, is not open yet, but um, make sure you apply um, and be aware of the application deadline and eligibility requirement as well. Uh, make sure um, you realize that. And before we end, um, we're going to look at the tips for today. So um, we're just going to go back for tip for today. So we talked about application processes in the previous videos. And today, we're just going to continue with the application process. And a tip for the application process is there are two major types of application processes. And there are an application process that requires an application fee. And there is an application process that does not require an application fee. Personally, um, I would recommend that if you um, have an application process that requires an application fee, I would not do it because there are so many um, universities that does not require an application fee. Um, I think it is ridiculous for international students who have um, no money to pay for an application fee, even and they don't know if they're going to get into that university or not. So it's not guaranteed. Um, just because you pay the application fee or not, th that doesn't increase your chances of getting it. Um, what increases your chances is um, your um, diploma or your transcripts and your extracurricular activities and plus your standardized test scores. Um, so we're just going to continue, but there are exceptions. Um, <laughs> there's a little typo in here which i will fix really quickly and there are exceptions which is tuition waivers um, for major universities there are tuition waivers that are offered by major universities to international students who are in need of financial aid and in order to get the tuition waivers you need to email the university itself um, but if you don't get the tuition waivers um, and they require you to pay an absurd amount of application fee I will not do the application process. Um, and I hope this helps and have a great day. And this is the end for NUS um, undergraduate scholarship. And I will see you in the next video.